Wait! You don't love me like I love you? Maps by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. Are you guys ready for a good time? All I want to do is have some fun until the sun comes up over Santa Monica Boulevard. Cheryl Crow is from LA, right? Or she is in LA. At one point in her life, she lived in LA. I'm really glad I don't live in LA. No offense to anyone who lives there. I'm just, I just don't want to live there. It seems very smoggy, seems very hot. And it seems like you're expected to talk to a lot of people if you live there. Look, I'm in a good mood. What do you want me to say? One, two, three. <laughs> This is Maps by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, and it didn't. The video did not start 100% how I expected it to start. I don't know what I was expecting. Look, guys, when I'm in a good mood, all bets are off. All boats are barreled. There's so many expressions. I just couldn't choose one, so I chose boats are barreled. Shoot, darn it. Okay, now I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> okay. I'm laughing though. What does that mean? You don't mean anything. You don't even know who I am. You know the online version of me, but you don't know the real me. Guys in the comments, do you know the real me? People of the world, friends and relatives, standard tuning, no capo, no bar chords. This song is very fun to play. I know people get mad at me because I yell too much. This is truly, honestly, literally just the way I talk. It can be, my wife is the same way. We'll be sitting on the couch watching 90 Day Fiance at 1230 in the morning. It never happened. We're both asleep by 945. But let's just pretend in an alternate reality, we're up at 1230. The rest of the world is falling asleep in the wee small hours of the morning. Very quiet and still. Our dogs are asleep. And I say to my wife, Honestly, I think he's in the wrong and she's in the right, if I'm being honest. And she says, Stuart, I was thinking the exact same thing, except when he said this thing, I thought that was a stupid thing to say. And I said, oh, I actually agreed with him there. And she goes, what? Why am I married to you? What is this? Should we even learn the song or should we just talk about 90 Day Fiance all day? Also, my 600 pound life is a good one. Honestly, was not that into Sister Wives, but I thought it was okay. Are you guys ready to learn maps by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs? <laughs> Oh my god. The introduction is some tremolo picking. Tremolo picking basically means you pluck down and up as fast as you possibly can. That's not what it actually means, but that's my definition of the word. Would you please take your ring finger, put it on the 15th fret of the second string from the bottom, then take your pointer finger and middle finger and just very gently touch all the other strings. We just want to mute the other strings. So that means if you play all the strings, all you hear is the second string from the bottom. Then grab your pick lightly but firmly, which is something that people tell you to do that it doesn't make any sense. Lightly but firmly, barely grab it, but use all your might to squeeze the pick. What I like to do for tremolo picking is I put the tip of my pick, you know how you have that last little piece of wood right here on the fingerboard that it kind of looks like a fret, but it's not a fret. I put my pick right there and then I hold it at an angle, like a 45 degree angle from the string. I kind of anchor my wrist on the guitar and I just go as lightly as I can down and up like this. If I do it over here, it's too like loud and abrasive and my pick kind of gets stuck in between the strings. If I do it here, the actual wood of the fingerboard has it so my pick is just like, it just kind of rests, I, I don't know, it just works. Try it with me, here we go. And... Interesting, it sounds good when I do it, it sounds pretty bad when you do it. I guess you should keep working at it. Also, I should say I have a little bit of overdrive on my amp, I also have a little bit of reverb on my amp, but it's mostly just a clean, dry tone. You hold out that one note with the tremolo picking for, I don't know, like, eight beats or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a kind of good amount of time. Then, on the second string from the bottom, I want you to play 12, 12, 12, 12, and then slide to eight. So we go 12, 12, 12, slide, eight, 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 eight. 
So four times on 12, four times on eight. I should also mention this. When you're playing 12 and eight, you don't wanna just hold down on the fret. You wanna like push and then release your grip a little bit because we don't want it to go like this. We want it to go like this. That little like bop, 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 as opposed to ba, 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 play it with me, here we go. Press, 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 press. My string is touching the finger. My finger is touching the string at all times, but I'm going press, 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 press. So I'm going 12, 12, 12, 12, 8, 8, 8, back to 12, 12, 12, then 15, 15, 15, 15. Give it a try. Here we go. And 12, 12, 12, 12, say 8, 8, 8, 12, 12, 12, 12, 15, 15, 15, 15. Then you go back to 12, 12, 12, 12, 8, 8, 8, 8. Then on the bottom string, play 12, 12, 12, 12, 15, 15, 15, 15. Guys, that's the verse to the song. We just played the entire first verse. Let's play it all the way through. One, two, here's the verse. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12 8, 8, 8, 8, 12, 12, 12, up to 15. Back to 12, then 8, 8, 8, back to 12 on the bottom. 15 on the bottom. That's the first verse. Are you ready for the chorus to the song? Chorus goes like this. Three, four. I'm a little out of tune, but other than that, that was completely perfect. According to my tuner, I'm 100% in tune, so I don't know what you were talking about when I said I was out of tune. We've made it to the chorus of the song. The chorus goes like this. You play the, it's just a bunch of power chords. You can handle it. You're going to love it. Would you please play the eighth fret on the top string with your pointer finger and then play the 10th fret on the second string from the top with your ring finger. Strum just those top two strings eight times down. This goes like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to play the third fret on the top string and the fifth fret on the second string from the top. And you strum down on that eight times. For your information, FYI, the eighth fret chord is called a C power chord. The third fret chord is called a G power chord. Now we're going to go to an E power chord. You just take this exact same finger configuration, you move it all the way up to the 12th fret. So pointer fingers on 12, ring fingers on 14. This is an E power chord, play it eight times. Then go back to the third fret, which is the G power chord eight times. So we've got C, G, E, G. Isn't it frustrating that all of the musical notes rhyme with each other? B, C, D, E, and G. Now how many? B, B, G, G, and B. Five of the seven musical notes rhyme with each other. That's so frustrating. Then you go back to the C power chord on the eighth fret. And then, now this is the only chord that's different. We're gonna go to a G over B power chord, which is your ring finger stays on 10 of the second string from the top, but your pointer finger goes to seven on the top string and you strum that eight times. Then you go to a D power chord, which is 10 on top, 12 second string from the top. Play that, guess how many times? That's right, ocho. That's Spanish for eight. I'm surprised you didn't know that. And then back to G on the third fret. That's the chorus. Let's walk through it one more time. Eighth fret power chord, third fret. Twelfth fret power chord, third fret. Eighth fret power chord, move just your pointer finger to seven. Then tenth fret power chord, then third fret power chord. Whole chorus. Wait, two. Three, they don't love you like I, here we go! Down to the third fret, up to the twelfth fret, down to the third fret, back to the eighth fret, then switch to the seventh fret, and then the tenth fret, back to the third fret. Oh, we've made it to
to the interlude. Guys, the interlude goes like this. Go all the way to the 19th fret on the bottom string and play it three times. One, two, three. Then play 17 on the bottom one single solitary time. Then 15 on the bottom four times. So that was 19, 19, 19, 19 17, 15, 15, 15, 15. Then, still on the bottom string, play 12, 12, 12, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15. So 19, 17, 15, and then 12, 10, 15. Play it with me! 19, 19, 19, 17, 15, 15, 15, 15, 12, 12, 12, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15. Great job playing the interlude. We've made it to the second verse of the song. The second verse is literally exactly the same as the first verse. After that, you go to the second chorus. The second chorus is literally the exact same thing as the first chorus. Then we get to the bridge slash guitar solo. The guitar solo goes like this. Two, three, four! <laughs> much distortion you're fired aggressively play three on the top string and slide it all the way up to 15. the trick for doing a big slide like this is don't try to watch your finger just stare at the fret you want to end up on and then bring your finger right up to that fret in your line of vision sight so you go three four great job so you slide up to 15 and then you play 15 an additional two times so you go then play 14 on the top string then back to 15 and then back to 14 and just kind of slide off of the 14 so you go play it with me here we go then there's a little pause, and then on the top string you play three 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 five five. So it's bang 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 three 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 five five. Play it with me. Here we go. Great. Then you start it off the same. You slide up to fifteen. Go bang bang bang. Then you play fourteen. Then um. What's gonna happen is I don't remember. Oh, then you go all the way up to 15, you go up to 19 and you play 19 twice and slide off of that. And then you play three, 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 five, five on the top string. So it's great. Then you play the first part of the guitar solo again. Then you start the second part of the solo again. Slide up to 15. Go all the way up to 19. Play. Then slide down to 17. Play that once. Then slide down to 15. Play that once. And then go all the way down to three and play that one. So that final part of the solo goes three, four. Me. Here we go. You hold out that third fret on the top string for like two beats, I believe. And then we go like this three, four. Here's what you do. Play the third fret on the top string with your middle finger. Play the third fret on the bottom string with your pinky. And you're just gonna bounce between the top and bottom string four times. One, two, three, four. I'm just going down on the top, up on the bottom. One, two, three, four. 
Then with your pointer finger, play two on the third string from the top, but keep your middle finger and pinky in the same spot. You're gonna play third string from the top, and then bottom string, back to third from the top, then bottom string. So it's funky, funky. Then get rid of your pointer finger, play third string from the top, open, then bottom. Third string from the top, open, then the bottom. So that was pinky, 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 pinky. Back to the top string, pinky, 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 three times. Then play third string from the top open and then the bottom string. So it was one, two, three, bang. Then you play the third string from the bottom and then the bottom string. You do that three times. One, two, three. Then back to the third string from the top and back to the bottom string just one time. So that was binky, 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 binky. What a confusing nightmare of a mess. Look, once upon a time I was in a good mood, but now I cl I'm clearly not in a good mood anymore. And it's become apparent to all of us that I didn't actually want to teach this song to begin with. That second part of the solo goes like this. Middle finger, third fret, top string, pinky, third fret, bottom string. You're just gonna play top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. That was four times, then, you play second fret, third string from the top twice. One, two, then open twice. One, two, back to the top string three times. One, two, three, then third string from the top once, and then third string from the bottom three times. One, two, three, and then third string from the top once. Whole thing goes three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's like the second half of the solo. Great, so the first half of the solo is where you slide around on the top string. Second half of the solo was where you're bouncing between high notes and low notes. After you do that, you go back to the chorus and you play the chorus again. This is the third time through the chorus, exactly the same as the other two choruses. Then we play just the first part of the solo again, just the sliding around on the top string. So the end of the song goes like this. Three, four. Good night.